the first annual Zachary Davis Hunting Achievement Award. Turkey down, Zach. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's your birthday present, Don. <laughs> Boom. He died. I met the Coolies whenever I was about 11 or 12. I was at a uh, sensory safari. People gather up mounts of all different kinds, squirrels to hippopotamuses. It's for the visually impaired people to come and they can come and touch these mounts which they would never have an opportunity to normally do. Basically I went and set them up. I wasn't going to get too involved in uh, the actual guiding of the sensory safari and then the day that I met Zach it completely changed my and Linda's life. And at that point, I had, I'd only been blind for a few years, and uh, thoughts through my head were, you know, they were ridiculous thoughts, such as, uh, I'm the only blind person, no one else is out there that, you know, has this situation. I was just feeling completely um, alone. So after I went into the sensory safari, that, that at first helped me witness that, oh wow, you know, there's other blind people out like me interested in animals, interested in hunting. And then uh, when I expressed the interest in the bears, they said, well, meet, you know, you gotta meet Don Corley. His dream was to go bear hunting, and I told Linda after about the second or third time we'd met Zach, I said, uh, you're not gonna believe what we're gonna do, Linda, but we're gonna take Zach on a bear hunt. And she said, well, how are we going to do that? And I said, well, I don't have any idea, but we'll figure that out. I've met some awesome people. I've done some spectacular things, and I can't wait to go bear hunting with Don and Linda in Canada. I'd like to thank Johnny Morrison for allowing me to um, shop and for getting me my equipment and clothing that I would need for this trip. Thank you very much. Ever since then, things have just, uh, like, just blossomed. I've been open to many opportunities. Many doors were open for me. Hunting is a sport that I can participate in. I have found that hunting is also a sport that I can excel in. Learning that there is a sport that I can excel in, even though that I am visually impaired, has changed my life. We, we were able to travel and hunt in Canada and South Africa. And he's very soft and big ears. Through that, I believe that opens and sparked my interest in uh, world travel. I now go to school at Texas A&M and I'm majoring in international studies with uh, an emphasis in German. It's just kind of like one thing led to another. Uh, our relationship with Zach and his family, it just, it grew from uh, a friendship to almost like they became part of our family. And uh, actually we've got more out of it probably than Zach. You can do whatever you want to do as long as you put your mind to it. We appreciate things a lot more now that we didn't used to. and. Uh, Everybody's got the same story. They think they don't have the time to do something like this, but 
Uh, once you get into it, you just make the time. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a very rewarding thing to get involved in. Ever since meeting the Corleys, everything has just uh, fallen into place. We started off at Century Safaris, then we uh, met another couple of little boys, Austin and Garrett, and, and uh, it, it's a story that's got a beginning that there's probably no end. It's just, it's, uh, it, it's gonna be a continuation of uh, being involved with this, this group, that, another group, and uh, you know, you never know where it's gonna go. Yeah, I just tried, I was using a pistol grip and my arm was locked out. Cause I'm reaching over Don's shoulder going, almost there. I want to thank everyone who helped me receive this special award. All right, the day we shot the buck, we saw this big buck come, okay, the night before we saw a buck, this one right here, seven points, but we didn't want to shoot him yet because we thought we might want to wait for a bigger one. But no bigger one came, so the next day, he comes running in there chasing them does left and right. He stops for one second to get some corn, I was on Don's back. He gave me the sign. I pulled the trigger. Click. It oh, really? Misfired. <clears throat> that that buck jerked his head up, looked at us, jerked back down, started eating corn again. Don slowly redid it. He tapped it. Boom! Shot that deer, and he died right there.